Hi everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Oh my god, I cannot believe that it is time for Vlogmas already. This year has just completely flown by. I feel like this year has been so different than last year when we filmed Vlogmas, so it's crazy that that much time has passed because last year we were like full on in quarantine and now we're vaccinated and we can actually celebrate the holidays a little bit more than we even did last year, which is super exciting. So this year's Vlogmas is gonna be kind of crazy because Oh, as you're watching this video, we are actually currently in Sweden, but we filmed this video before we left for you guys because we wanted to have a video to go up on day one of Vlogmas. So we're gonna be traveling a lot on um, this Vlogmas as well as we obviously have to do all the New York City things for the holidays. And Hanukkah is super early this year. Hanukkah actually started on November 28th. So we have to show you all of the Hanukkah stuff, all of our travels, and all of the Christmas stuff and Christmas stuff that we're gonna be doing this year. So happy Hanukkah if you're seeing this. And I mean, it's gonna be such a fun Vlogmas. Yeah, so what we're gonna do for this video is we're going to show you kind of like all the new like holiday decor that we picked up over the course of the last few months because um, we've realized in the last few years that people start decorating super early. Like everyone decorated like for their house for Christmas that we saw online in like November, like literally immediately after Halloween. And me and Gabby are like, that's a little too early yeah. for us to actually decorate. But we wanted to still make sure we got like the good decor, especially because Hanukkah is so early this year. We wanted to make sure we had like the kind of stuff that we wanted. Yeah. And it was actually great because since Hanukkah is so early this year, we, we were able to get like really good Hanukkah decor, which is so rare because normally we can't find like the best Hanukkah decor or the decor that like fits our style but this year we totally did and I mean can we just show my sweatshirt please <laughs> today we did a fun like Hanukkah photo shoot in the house we'll insert some images of that in this video but look at this let's fix it it's a little wrinkled there okay, I'm gonna pull it. it down so you can like read the whole thing holla at your girl holla at your girl okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you all of the new little holiday decor we have in a little haul and we'll tell you where we got it from and then the next video I'll be decorating you know what time it is Hall time. Yeah, we always do hauls on our bed for some reason. And if you hear any noise behind us, cat playing with the toy. This year, whenever we kind of saw like holiday decor, whether it's Hanukkah or Christmas or just general like holiday decor, we picked it up right away because we've noticed over the last few years, like if you don't get something when you see it, then like you go back and you think it's gonna be there and it's not there. Yeah, but we can still tell you where we got things from just in case you can actually order online still. You can try and look up some of these things online and maybe you can still get it. In the bag here is kind of like a hodgepodge of stuff. So I'm gonna try and keep it by like which store we got it from. Hopefully that will help. Okay, so the first thing we picked up was this like holiday like blanket for our bed. And it's very simple. Um, it doesn't really like say too much about like what the holidays are. And one thing to note about Gabby and I is that we don't like when something is like very overtly like Christmas or like overtly like Hanukkah. We kind of like it to be a little bit more like, I guess, uh, I don't want to say like neutral, but just simple. Yeah, we just simple, like it to be yeah. More simple. We don't like it to be like too flashy necessarily. Yeah. It just like has to match our style. And also not too much in like one direction for like either holiday. Like we kind of like it to be a mixture of both, which is very hard to do. So it's very hard for us to find decor that we both really like because it's like, the colors of Hanukkah and the colors of Christmas don't go together and they don't match. It's yeah. like, it's mayhem. Like, so basically normally we wouldn't do green, but in this case, our bedroom, if you don't know, is actually like green. Like all the accents in our bedroom are green. So this actually will match in our bedroom yes. really well. And it will go exactly where, where this, this orange, orange one is. is. Yeah. So, so it's going to look really pretty. Yeah. And it'll be good for the holidays and just good for like the season. And we don't have a throw like this. We have this orange one on almost all the time. So I thought this would be a nice little touch. This is what it looks like up close. It has like little like white pulley things and stuff. So while we were in TJ Maxx, Shanna literally grabbed this as we were going to the register. It's like this little like, I don't know, porcelain vase. And then there's some like fake like uh, cranberries, cranberries and like pine, pine cone. So this will just go like on the table somewhere. It's really cute. I hope that's focused. Yeah, and it was only $10 because the price is still on it. Um, and we just like having the fake stuff around our apartment. Like we do have real plants, but having the fake stuff is nice because um, you don't have to worry about watering it and just always looks pretty and you can save it for next year. Ooh, oh, oh my God. Okay, so probably the item we got this year that I personally am the most excited about. It's like a Hanukkah cat dish towel kind of situation. I don't know, it's so freaking cute. I saw this and I immediately was like, Shanna, we need to get this. Like, <laughs> we didn't really have good like Hanukkah dish towels. It's kind of hard to find yeah. like really good Hanukkah stuff. So we never found something that was like Hanukkah and also had cats on it before. So 
This is definitely my favorite item out of everything. And then this next item is something also from TJ Maxx. This is like boho beads, but they have like snowflakes on them. And this is kind of what we were saying earlier in the video. Like we like stuff that is just like general holiday, not really too much in one direction because we can keep it up for a while. We don't feel like we're like favoring one like holiday over the other because if you don't know, we actually celebrate Christmaca in this house, okay? Because <laughs> I grew up celebrating Christmas and Gabby grew up celebrating Hanukkah. So now we merge it together and we get the best of both worlds. <laughs> Okay, so while we were at TJ Maxx, we also got this candle that says Happy Holidays, kind of like my shirt, Holla at your girl. And it's just a really like nice smelling big white candle. I mean, it smells amazing and it's like very simple and cute, so I love it. It smells so good. Like, what do you think that this smells like? Like, um, fresh something or other. Like a little piney to me, but yeah. like in a nice like, ooh, it's like crisp and wintry kind yeah. of way. Okay, so I think that's it for the stuff at TJ Maxx, but if we find something else, we'll um, insert it in. But um, the next thing is something that I really love, and this is a vegan chocolate advent calendar. If you've never had an advent calendar before, it's literally the best thing ever. I know some people haven't heard of these, and I had never heard of this before I started dating Shanna. Literally, for like, it's just like Vlogmas. For every day of December, there's like a different door, and there's like a chocolate or an item behind it, and you open it every morning or every night, and you can just like eat the chocolate or use the item or whatever it is. It's amazing. But the problem is, is that most of the chocolate is just milk chocolate, and it's not vegan, so I grew up eating them, like eating the milk chocolate versions. Rascal. Or for him. Okay. So I grew up eating the milk chocolate version, but then since I've been vegan for the last six years, I haven't found one. And then last year was the first year that I found a vegan one at Whole Foods. And then this year when we went to Whole Foods again, around just, around like November time, I was like, okay, if I see it, I'm gonna get it. And we saw it, so we got it. Yeah. I feel like you should say the name of this brand so, so people the, can find it. The brand is called Divine, um, and it's like uh, like fair trade chocolate, and it says vegan up here. They also make a non-vegan one, so just make sure you get the one that says vegan, but I've seen it at Whole Foods, and now for two years in a row, so check your local Whole Foods and you might find this. So something that we're really trying this year to just be better at is to shop more locally and like in more small businesses than big retail stores like TJ Maxx or Target, even though we love those stores and we still get stuff there. We're like really trying to get more presents for people and decorations for our house at like small stores nearby. So a local store near us is called Annie's and they are amazing. It's called Annie's Blue Ribbon and they have lots of amazing stuff and we were in there and we found so many amazing items but one thing we found are these cute little like porcelain plates that say peace, light, love and they're just like so cute and so perfect. I feel like we can put them in like different rooms on different surfaces and have like some little like holiday treats on them. I don't know but we just saw them right away and we were like we love these little dishes. Yeah what I will say about like Hanukkah decor in general is that a lot of it is I don't know if like tacky is the right word, but it's like, it's it, they don't have a lot of trendy Hanukkah pieces. It's really hard to find those. So when we saw this, we're like, this is so cute. And like, we just love the like style and the design of it. It doesn't look super tacky. So that's why we had to get it. Yeah, I think it's also because Hanukkah stuff isn't like as mass produced and mass sold as like Christmas items are. So sometimes you just have less choices, which means that maybe some just aren't our style. So a few other things we got from Annie's were these um, holiday cookie cutters. They're more like Christmas but we already have Hanukkah ones, so we were like, okay, yeah. this is cute. Also, please notice one of those is a rainbow. How mm -hmm. cute is that? <laughs> this is from the brand uh, Merry Merry. I think they make like all party decor and stuff. Yeah, they're, they have a lot of like this brand at, at our local gift shop, but we have seen it at, like other gift shops like when, when we've been traveling too. So this, is, this brand has really, really cute stuff. Um, and Gabby always makes um, holiday cookies for whenever we go to my family's house for Christmas, so we knew we had to get these. Rascal, be quiet. Okay, so this was also from Annie's, also from the same brand, Mary Mary, and this is like a, a Christmas like garland for, we're not sure where we're gonna put this yet, but I'm just gonna, I don't want it to get out of the bag. I'm gonna show you that this is what it looks like. It's so cute. Um, and we just liked it because like the style of all the Mary Mary stuff is like exactly our style. So that's why whenever we see something we like from them, we just get it right away. Okay, so one more thing that we got from Annie's. This is the last one. They have a lot of amazing ornaments there. So we got an ornament. And for the longest time, I have been wanting a Hanukkah ornament for our Christmas tree because obviously our Christmas tree is extremely Christmassy. That's like the point of it. But I always thought like since we celebrate Christmas in this house, it would be cute to have a little Hanukkah ornament that just like goes on top of the, the Here, let me hold it close up so yeah. you can see. I just thought for the longest I got time, it. it would be cute to have a little like Hanukkah ornament that goes like on the Christmas tree. And this one is just so perfect. It's like glittery, it's fun, and it's just like a little menorah, so. All right, Rascal is um, being a little menace, so you might have to, Gabby's trying to calm him down. I'm calm down, that's, that's a camera. He like thinks that the camera is like another person we're talking to. It's fine. 
So I found one more thing from TJ Maxx that I forgot to show, and that is this Live Love Latka sign, and I think this is so cute. I just love that it's like, it's like embroidered with like beads and stuff. And it's so cute. I love it. I love that it just says live love latka. It's just so cute. Latkas and, like, are amazing. amazing. Latkas are so amazing. If you've never had a latka, um, this is the year to try one. Go buy a latka for Hanukkah. If, even if you don't celebrate Hanukkah, just get yeah. a latka. You will not regret it. It's delicious. Okay, so the next thing I feel like Gabby should talk about, but it's probably the thing that I think I'm most excited about, and it is from CB2. Okay, I'll talk about it, but you show it because I'm holding the cat. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, let me get it out of the bag. Oh my god, so you can tell that this is a menorah. And I mean, you might say menorah, you might you might say Hanukia, but like it's a menorah, and we found it. We went to CB2 just to like literally look, and for nothing else, just for fun. Yeah. We thought like, oh, we'll like eat, we'll like window shop. We never have bought anything at CB2 like ever, except the curtains we have in our bedroom. We ordered from CB2 like years five ago. years ago. Yeah. But like we saw this when we went in, just to like we were just being like, oh, let's be bougie. Let's go to CB2 and pretend to like stare at things and buy things and buy nothing. But we wound up buying this menorah. They had amazing Hanukkah stuff and like mm -hmm. Christmas decor and stuff. And we were just like, this is so cool. We have never, since we lived together, had like a really nice quality menorah. We always had like the $5 ones from like Target. Yeah, like the cheap $5 Target ones. And they would kind of get ruined every year. So we actually thought like, let's invest and get like a real nice menorah that actually fits our style and that we're like happy to put out. Yeah, and this so. one I really like because it's like, not too overtly like Hanukkah, but it, it's like very like sleek and beautiful. Like I love the design of it. And I know like this is only $50, which I feel like for something that you're gonna keep probably forever, at least until it dies, is like that's a great price. Yeah, and I mean the stuff from CB2 is good quality. So at least we know like this is gonna last us for the money, like hopefully a really long time. And it's like so like modern and minimalist. I know, I love it. So one item that we got from Target, I don't think anything else that's like new that we have from Target, but this is actually for Rascal and good thing he is calmed down now because he's not in the room. So we actually found um, some Hanukkah cat toys from our favorite brand, Quirky Kitty. This brand, like, they have the cutest cat toys and Roscoe loves all of their toys. Yeah, he, like, the minute he sees them, he starts, like, licking them, playing with them, even when we haven't taken it off the cardboard yet, but... These are awesome. Shan and I were so excited when we found this, and we're definitely gonna be keeping an eye out for their Christmas ones, which we have not found yet. Okay, so the last thing is actually from Amazon, and it is pillow covers for our couch. Um, we actually have like Christmas pillows that we already have, but like I like to like change the pillows that we have on the couch all the time to like match for the season. So I got one green one. Well, another one's coming in the mail, but this is for, because we have four pillows on the couch, so this is for like the bigger ones. And then we also got this like nude kind of like sweatery material one for like the other pillows on the couch, the smaller pillows. Yeah, we have a small apartment, so we don't have like a ton of pillows, which is why we always buy pillow covers so that like Shanna and I don't have to store like 30 pillows, we just like put a cover on it. I also feel like it's less wasteful. It's less we, wasteful for sure, yeah. Yeah, so like we can like change things up like seasonally by just buying like some fun pillow covers. That's yeah. Shanna's favorite thing to do. She I always is obsessed with that. And Amazon has like really cool ones if you just like search for them, so. This one's That's really soft, I gotta say. Okay, so I found one more thing that I wanted to show you all, which is probably my favorite part of the holidays. I love wrapping presents. I really go really hard. I've already been saving wrapping ideas on my, on my Pinterest board for like the last like four months. Um, yeah, she really loves it. I hate it. I hate it so much. I literally <laughs> loathe it. And every time I'm doing it, I'm like, ah! But um, I typically like to wrap with like just the plain brown wrapping paper. Um, this one actually has like stamps or like designs of like black Christmas trees on it. But I like the brown paper because it's better for the environment, but also um, I feel like it looks neater and like looks more minimal. And I always like do like twine or like some other kinds of things on top of it. Um, so this is the paper that I picked out for this year. Gabby always picks out her own paper too. I was so proud because I found that paper for Shanna and it was like exactly what she wanted. And anytime that happens, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> thank you universe. But I got this one for me to wrap with. It's kind of like a black and white plaid kind of thing. I just thought this would be simple and it could kind of work for both holidays. So yeah, and I like that our presents look different because if not, it gets a little confusing. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you all enjoyed our little holiday haul. I think either tomorrow, well in tomorrow's video for you, I will be decorating, but in real time, I'm either gonna decorate tomorrow or like a few days from now. Like basically before we go to Sweden, I wanna decorate because we're gonna be missing the first few days of Hanukkah and when we come back, I want the house to feel very like in the holiday spirit. Yeah, like we wanna come home and it's just completely the holiday spirit, but so Shanna's gonna do like all the decor in the whole house, but then when we come back from Sweden, that's when we're gonna get our tree and then we're gonna like immediately decorate our tree. 
which I'm so excited for, even though you really do all the work. <laughs> <laughs> so we always get a real tree every year because we just don't have the space to store a fake one, even though I do think that a fake one is like better like environmentally, but one day when we have the space, we will get a really nice fake one. But for now, we're getting a real one. And I do like how it smells. It feels like very like fresh and stuff when you have a real tree. Yeah, I actually like it. It's really nice. And Rascal sits under it and it smells like amazing. It's like a lot of fun having a tree for sure. But definitely stay tuned for the rest of our Vlogmas. We're going to be doing so much fun stuff. We're definitely going to be making cookies, going to see the tree in the city. And who freaking knows what else? We're going to maybe do some Christmas stuff in Sweden, which would be pretty fun, especially because I've never been to Sweden before. And I feel like Christmas is kind of like a magical time to go. And I mean, We'll also be celebrating Hanukkah in another country and here and decorating a tree and just like so much stuff. And we also have a few more trips in December as well. So we're not sure like if those are all finalized yet, but obviously you will all know because we will be vlogging every single day. Um, so thank you all so much for watching Vlogmas day one and stay tuned for Vlogmas day two where we'll be decorating our entire apartment for the holidays. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Holla at your girl. Holla. Holla at your girl. Thank you.